guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Rams and Ranches. We lift things. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Yeah, we're just chilling. Kind of, uh, I was debating whether or not to hit back or chest. And then I decided, <laughs> ideally, I should probably hit back. So, therefore, I'm hitting chest. Initially, I wanted to start. You know me. Shorty sure wanted to start on a uh, incline, incline Smith machine, but currently not an option. So we're doing this. And within the forties, I did a couple. What did I do beforehand? One, two, three sets beforehand. Four, maybe. I don't know. I just work here. We're having, we're having a crisis, but that's okay. It's a part of life, unfortunately. <laughs> Shorty, Shorty weighed in at one one forty one. I was with clothes. Almost cried. It's okay. Part of the process. Trust the process. All right. That's it. I'm tweaking. You know, it's cool. I actually didn't even, didn't even want to do, do anything. All right. So in which case, I just grabbed the 50s. Don't know if I can lift them. But we're going to try. What's the worst that could happen? Think about it. You either lift it or you don't. On a side note, I do have like vertigo right now and I'm kind of shaky. Also super hungry. I digress. Dude, freaking jokes on me. That's not happening. We'll try 45s. Get freaking fragged. <laughs> I was actually not cool because I'm super soggy now. BRB. Side note, BRB actually stands for bringing red beans. So the bug that I saw the other day actually wasn't a pill bug. It was a sew bug. I knew because something felt off about it. It looks... Uh, wood loss is any crustacean belonging to the suborder on a cicada within the order Isopata. They get their name from often being found in old wood and from Laos, a parasitic insect, although wood lice are neither parasitic nor insects. So it was a bug the other day. It looked, from afar, it looked like a roly poly. Then I picked it up and he, his back was searching this way instead of curling into a ball. And I was like, you're not a, you're not a roly poly, buddy. Very similar though. Take like a 
like a thousand year nap. I think it's my recent time. Whoops. I remembered to bring a hair tie instead of a clip. I don't know if we should throw it up. Should we put some 25s on? I don't know. I'm feeling kind of depleted, but I feel like it'd be... It's worth the shot. I think it's worth the shot. I don't know. I kind of just feel like... You know? You know? So I think just like generally, there's so many things that I could improve upon. And we'll get there. Like for instance, deciding to do a chest day when you should probably be doing that. Although I don't think that one like actually matters, you know. I'll, I'll hit back. When I head back. I wonder if Steve's here yet. I'm so sad. Just cause. Like we're dealing with like a lot. I don't know. I'm dead and empty inside. So sorry. I should apologize. <laughs> Smith machine is open. We could just go there instead. Oh. Whoops. Oh, that feels split. It's so you're looking like up. Yeah, what the fuck? Maybe. No idea. We'll see. Now we fix this bitch. Just make you look sexy. Wait, here? Oh my goodness, thank God. Steve! Steve's here! It just like feels too close. That's like all. Oh. Hi, Steve! Uh, I know! You know that for a million times. Yeah, honestly, it's. Never, I'm getting sick never, of it. In fact, it's just, huh? It's, I'm getting sick of it. It's, it's just, it's like one more step. You know what it is? What is the next step to uh, reassure you? Reassure you. What's the next step? I don't know. Yeah. But I'm going to hit this set. I put on 45s. I don't know if I can lift it, so we'll see. We'll see if we can lift this. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Because I don't know. I, I already, I'll tell you what I did after I hit this, but. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm already passed. A fatigued? Yeah, I'm a little bit fatigued. Is that what it's called? Yeah, a little fatigue. All right, one more time. You see me doing this on purpose? 
Maybe doing this on purpose. <laughs> One finger. <laughs> One finger. <laughs> that was outstanding. Oh my god. I know, and I'm so freaking tired. Yeah. I haven't seen you forever. I haven't seen you my Elsa fix. I know. Ed Connie closed up the kennel early. I mean, not early. Ed Connie, she said she closed up. Cool. Yeah. She's doing nice. I wonder what she did. I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, how do you... How do you know he took your car so you couldn't go anywhere? Um, I'm getting buttons pushed. I'm getting buttons pushed and... Said my buttons are being pushed. Well, I mean, I don't say that, but he didn't really say that. Last part, you see. It's it's irritating. It's not something that I want to fucking not, hear. It's, it's extremely disrespectful. Yeah. It, it is also disrespectful. Because <sighs> you want to say, why am I here? Then? Exactly. That's how I feel. I know. And someone told me that, like, try not to lock out my elbows at the end. So I've been trying to focus on, you know, not. Yeah. Well, someone on my uh, the last day that I had done like a chest thing too, they were like, "Your bench is too far away." It's because I was using the stupid gray one, and it, it's so light that I can't push back against it because it just shoves you back. So I had tried to put something in behind it so they could keep yeah to keep me pushed up, but it was still like wasn't pushed up far enough. This is the good bench. So I was like, "No, I sort of got it. it was the bench," and they're like, mm -hmm. "Whatever." Great stuff. Where he was at, and I was laughing. I said, Yeah, she wants to get a whack, uh, muscular, like bodybuilder, muscular, not fitness model. And he goes, What you want to get up to? Oh, the 200. I, I said, What you he goes, What you want to get up to? Could you picture said, me? Could you said, picture me at 200 pounds lean? I said, Give me a time. Left. He said, I don't know what you think. He said, Two years. I said, What do you think in two years? And she goes, He goes, 180, 190. I definitely think I could be like 180. 180 190, 200 pounds. I said, oh my God, that's what she wants to get up to. I said, she was. But he goes, you know, the problem is, oh, okay, right now, I've seen a lot of it these days, Steve. Everybody focus on doing enough carb, or enough protein. And when you ask them what their carbs are, they have no clue. And the other day, I said, what's your carbs? You, go, I don't know. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what we should have to do? We should have you trained with. Eric from Marine. Yeah. So 1,300, 1,300 grams of carbs. See, it, it's been, it's, it's April 1st and I weigh 203 pounds. So my issue with that though, is that because I'm, I'm still not that far in recovery from an eating disorder. I'm, I think a year and a half now. Is that all? That's all. That's all, Steve. A year and a half. Okay, my mistake. Remember, worked with eating disorders, right? I honest to God thought it was like four years. Yeah, no. No. Nope. That's also how long I've been lifting. So a year and a half. That's my my silly, goofy secret story. I'm the lifting. You know, lifting was what saved me. I was nothing. I was like 98 pounds. Skinny fucking little shit. Bulimia or anorexia or both? Bul I mean both, really, but bulimia. I would have phases where I, like, wouldn't wouldn't eat and then go back into just fucking throwing up everything that I ate. No, I've seen it. I dated, I dated a girl for a year. I didn't even know she was bulimia. She hard oh, we hard you get hard. so good at fucking throwing up quietly. Hardcore, it's it's insane. Well, hardcore bodybuilding light. She's always lean. I'm like, like hey, where are you cheeseburgers? Go? How the fuck are you always lean? And then she finally fessed up because she had to go to rehab.
Do I think I want to go to Cables now? <laughs> so the eating disorder thing on carbs, is that because of the sugars? No, I think for me personally, I just like, I don't... I used to have a lot of issues with, with carbs, especially, and what, what carbs? just any carbs. If it was a car- like the only thing that I would eat was like fucking fruit. Eat what? Fruit. Don't see that. Don't get me going. Like to me, anything over 150 calories was was too much. So anyway, I think like it's not that I. I just you know I'm only a year and a half in like. I don't want to track right now because I don't want to, to end up like triggering myself. What you think? TV, eating disorders is the same as gambling, alcohol, drugs, or anything. You're never it's addictive. Cure. No. You're never cure. I know if I ask Karen, my so I still I text every day. I still battle. I still battle anytime I eat anything and I if I can see the calories on it. Like I don't I, I start like ah uh, you know so as long as I don't as long as I don't see the calories and because it's visual mm-hmm. it's your brain the input yeah granted I could probably look at food I mean I I do sometimes look at food oh hey this is gonna be about this many calories well, I say, this y- yeah because you get trained you also get a lot of denial about it yeah well no no I don't have any disorder yeah buddy sure. Keep telling yourself that. I'm, I'm done on that. Cable time. That was, I was barely, I just got to like six and I felt it stop. And I, it was just, I was letting you lift it at that point. <laughs> Some crying. I think I got a little bit of a pump. Not a year ago. I think it was probably 110 ish. No, what I mean, when you were eating this, you were out of. 98, yeah. I'm sure I probably dipped a little lower than that, but... I'm, pr- I'm gonna end up taxidermy, dude. I'm gonna get fucking murdered in taxidermy. I don't know what I did this morning, but I felt my shoulder kind of, like, click. And n- now it's fucking hurting again, so... <sighs> I know, I know. Whatever. What can you do? What? Because I was going to do cardio or anything for a while. That sucks. <laughs> Work out vicariously through you. I don't know. I'm. I'm just. 